Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is the second episode, um, official episode, I guess, of Vlogmas. So we are gonna be uploading a video every other day until Christmas, starting, um, we started on December 1st with the Peak Week video. Today is gonna be a quick little informational video, and I'm gonna be discussing the difference between what a feeder set and a working set is, what does that even mean? You know, if you've been working out for some time now or you're into the fitness space, you've maybe heard, you know, people who are well experienced talk about like feeder sets, working sets, you know, what the hell does that even mean? What are they? What's the difference? How do we set that up? So let's get into it. Before we get into the video though, make sure you like and subscribe uh, and share the channel so we can keep growing. And I really appreciate your guys' support. All right, so let's get into it. So. First of all, I'll explain what a feeder set is, what a working set is, what the difference is, and then I'll give you an example, uh, just a quick example of me doing some deadlifts, um, doing feeder sets, and then working into like a working set. So, feeder sets, what the hell is that? So, a feeder set is kind of, a, I guess you could say, a fancy term for like a warm up set. So, generally, you might think when you're working out and you're kind of warming up for you know, whatever exercise you're doing, you know, you're gonna be doing, you know, 40 pounds for 10 reps and then 50 pounds for 10 reps and 60 pounds for 10 reps. So that can accumulate a lot of volume, even though you're doing sub-maximal weight, that can accumulate a lot of volume. And then by the time you're getting to a uh, weight that you, it's gonna be actually hard for you, you're maybe not gonna get as much out of that particular set once you actually get to your working set. So a feeder set is going to be a warm up. Um, set that you're gonna do before that is gonna be sub-maximal weight and also sub-maximal reps. So you're gonna try and do as little reps as possible just to keep your body warm and just to feel the weight and get your body ready to move up a little bit more weight um, so your body is fully, uh, your central nervous system is firing to actually do some heavy uh, and hard training. So. Generally, let's say for example, with the deadlifts, I'll give you, I'll show you guys a video example of this. With the deadlifts, I'll usually start with one to two plates depending on where I am starting out with my workout. So generally speaking, I will do two plates to warm up and I will do a few reps of that. So I do a few reps just to feel the weight, get used to that weight and just get my technique and my motor pattern down. So I'm not trying to tax myself in any way, shape or form. All I'm trying to do is just work the form, work the technique, make sure that everything feels good, everything's firing properly. And that's really the biggest goal with um, the initial set. And then all I do from there is I'll usually do about like maybe five reps, maybe 10 reps if it's really light. And then from there, I work into something a little bit heavier. So generally what I'll do is I'll go for, you know, with deadlifts, I'll usually do like a plate for a bit. So two plates, then three plates here. And I'll do like one to three reps, depending on how heavy it is. But you just want to feel the weight, get warmed up, get warmed, get used to that new weight, and then move on to the next one um, as quickly as possible. So for the next feeder set, I just literally did four plates for one rep. Again, I'm just trying to feel that weight, get my body fired up, get my nervous system fired up to do my maximum set. So my max set here, and then this is gonna be an actual first working set. So what is a working set? A working set is, an, is your set where you're actually gonna be doing weight that's difficult, probably till failure or very close to failure um, on those sets. So for deadlifts, I only do one working set, but for a lot of other exercises, I'll usually do about two to three working sets. So Every time I'm doing a working set, I'm doing it till failure. So that means I'm doing that set until my form breaks down or I can't complete the rep, obviously. So with this particular set, I did 455 and I did, I think, five or six reps here. So as you can see, it's very difficult. It's very taxing. And we just worked into that maximum weight. And that wasn't my first working set. So that was the only working set I did for that exercise. This is about two weeks out from the show. So um, 
I'm not trying to go too, too crazy, but that's going to be the biggest difference. So with your working set, you're working until failure, you're going as hard as you can until your form breaks down and you can't complete the rep. So generally, depending on the exercise, you're going to want to spot or you're going to want to do it on some sort of machine or whatever. Just make sure you're doing that safely when you do do those working sets to failure. But that's going to be the biggest difference. So it's not too complicated. Your feeder sets are going to be just little warm-up sets, one to three reps, feel the weight, get your central nervous system fired up, then move on to the next weight and repeat that process until you get to a weight where you know you're going to be, uh, it's going to be very taxing, very difficult, and you can bang out, you know, X amount of reps. So if I was to do, you know, four plates for five reps and three plates for 10 reps before I did that 455, I might have not, I might have only gotten three or four reps with the 455 instead of the six reps. So it's all about trying to save as much energy as possible for the set that is the most important, which is that working set to failure. That's where you're gonna get the most growth and the most muscle stimulus and the most adaptation to, again, get that muscle growth. So I hope that was helpful. I just wanted to do one quick little video. Um, I'm three days out from the show, so I just wanted to do this video quickly just to get, help give you guys a little bit more information on some of the different things in the fitness industry that can be somewhat confusing, but are really simple at the end of the day. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends and happy Vlogmas and we will see you very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be posting a ton of ton of content. And if you want to see anything specific, make sure you comment it down below and we'll try and fit it in for you. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.